Okay then. So, I've stayed the night in the cabin. I've drunk. I've eaten. I've prepared some of my stuff. I'm ready to go. And I have the key. Wait, did I need the key? Was that unlocked? Uh oh. Knew it. Hello, bear. Have I been knocked out? Oh, if I knew there was going to be a time jump, I would have just not bothered sleeping and eating and stuff. Unfinished business with the bear, he said. Damn, I'm freezing. I don't know why I'm freezing. Just repaired all my stuff. Must have destroyed it. In which case, fuck. A little wood here I can break down though. I think it's to force us to go inside the house. Hello. Hello. Anyone here? Anyone here? This place looks like it's been empty for a while. This place looks like it's been empty for a while. <laughs> oh, I've lost my mind. Oh, I lost it. There we go. I do need more cloth to break down into stuff because I'm a bit empty. I could use this. Because, yeah, I'm running out of stuff. So, I'm going to break this down quickly. Going dark again outside now after all of that. Oh, that bear knocking me down did a time skip then. I mean, I have to explore this place in the dark. All darkening. That. Which I've already got a lantern, plenty of fuel, even though it's giving me a new one. Finish searching everywhere else. What's on that mug? Winterland? Interland? I don't know. I have a storm lantern. Seems like the quakes did some damage here. Should Must be what so. the old guy meant about unstable. So if we got to crawl underneath. Wow! It's in episode two. It gives you the crouch tutorial. You can play this game for hours before it will give you the tutorial of Crouch. Okay. A bullet and a soda. Lovely. Yeah, it's going dark in here. Let's get some light going so we can see what we're looting. soon. A lot of things in the first area saying we need a hacksaw. Let's uh, not go down there just yet. I want to search everything. No, I need to search. What have we here? Their shells. Take those, although I don't think they'll be useful. Simple tools. It's for basic crafting and repair. That's new. Ah, control room. That's probably where we had to go. Oh, we need a password, do we? We could force the password. 
Let's really turn my lantern off doing that. I guess I could put it away. I'll just hang it from my waist or something. Probably be really dumb, right? I want the candy bar. Oh, stop it. Let me search. Hope I can still eat Ooh, this. Ketchup chips. I hate, to, I hate ketchup flavored chips, which makes good crisps. Not American, they're crisps. Chips are very different. Well, they're still made of potato. And they are usually still fried, but they are different. Sounds healthy. Wonder if this is any good to eat. Okay. Yes, in here. Okay, elevator doesn't work. It's good to know. It's all boarded up. I wonder if I can get there by bringing down the pallets. There's so much left to this place I haven't explored. Salty crackers. Accelerant. More lockers to search. Ooh, new wool socks. Hope I can still eat this. Probably be better than my old ones, right? bathrooms. Why is there a... Stop it. Why is there a bin with the toilet? Some metal scrap. Can you just stop it. What the... Take care of an emergency kit. Admin office key. Frost talker down note. Phil, Jack's only some seen some wolves in the area last week and Emily said she thought she saw a bear skulking around the camp. I'm not convinced it isn't those rare house thugs trying to scare us off, but just in case... Keep this flag in handy, it's the closest thing we have to a fire up. I have a flag. Oh, nobody needs this anymore. Stop it. I don't really need a flag. Stop it! Let me search the can. Alright, let's go to um the backpack. Can we destroy the other flag that we got? Can drop it. Okay, that's fine. Stop! It's saying search can. I want to search the can. Oh, trash can letter. Space. I'm so fucked off at you. Pissed off. Oh, pissed is barely a swear word. You told me the forest talkers were legit and they'd be doing some good work out here. Seems wrecked out a bunch of dummies who have disorganized and have no plan. Is that a supplies note then? Or just a note. Let's have a look at the map. No, no supply note is added. Go on then, let's have a look at what we picked up. That'll be the bottom one, won't it? Uh what do you know if Secret Bear was hit by Hard by the creeks, but man, I had no idea. Stuck. Okay, nothing that interesting. We got the office key. Here we have a staircase that goes up and down. That was the low levels that were damaged, wasn't it? God, this place is huge. It's gonna take forever to explore it and loot it all. Oh, another note. Uh, right. The permanent ship from the suggestion authors in hurry. I left it in the cave. 
Head back out from the dam, follow the river, look for a cave near clearing with the hunter's blind. Okay. Left it. Is it gonna be another gun? Stop it. Wonder if this is any good to eat. Stop trying to turn yourself off. Aid station. Aid station. This is what we're here. Well, that sounds like what the trapper needs. Hmm, I can't get in. Guess I need, that's why I've got the office key so I can get this stuff will come in handy. to it. I've already got pretty good boots. Nope. Excellent. Must be something we can use to fix the short wave. Pry bar looking like tools. Pry bar, seventy three percent. Yeah, that's still pretty good. And this is the office. Then I'm guessing so we have the key. Let's just search everything. Still eat this. Of course, you can eat chocolate. Even if it is a bit mouldy, probably shouldn't. Ah! We didn't turn you off. I let go of the button. Don't you fucking say search locker. That's why I'm pressing it, game. Use this. Okay. Take set. Oh, elevator maintenance notice. Carter Hydro Dam maintenance ticket. The elevator is acting up again. Check the mechanics, and they seem to be fine. Uh, must be some glitch in the electrical system. Keep an eye on it. It's really in the way to the turbine room. If the elevator gets stuck, it'll be a long walk before we can get back to the control room. Uh, there's a safe though. There it was. Go brute force this. Go very slowly, brute force it. Come on, it's not that many numbers left. Almost done a full rotation. What twenty was it on? Open. Okay, brute forcing it. That'll come in here. Money, money, flesh shell, bullet, stim. Not terrible. How many bullets do we have now? I have found a couple lots. Twenty-two. Okay, I think I'm not going to bother searching the rest of this because it's going to take so long. We get the aid station open. Industrial Medical supplies. Still daytime. Let's leave. Check in on that old trapper. Okay, 
So if we follow the train track all the way to there, we'll grab that and then cross the house. Okay, we made it. We made it home. Oh, that was bloody cold and a long walk in a storm. I'm surprised I lasted that long. Just stab a guy in his sleep. I just gave you a shot of some heavy antibiotics. Might feel funny for a while, but it'll help. And you're gonna need some time to recover. Time. And there's a plane flying over. Perfect. We don't have time. We need to get a message out. It's important. Message? You mean to your friend asking for medical help? Never mind that. Help me up so I can look at the radio. Let's see if the parts you brought back are any good. Okay, I forgot we were getting the radio parts. <laughs> I did pick them up though. That's a military shortwave, isn't it? Maybe. I know a bit about radios. It's not like any surplus I've ever seen. Look fine. So, whatever's wrong with the radio goes deeper than that. What could it be? It has something to do with the power. <laughs> Fuses. Transformers, maybe. We have bigger problems to deal with first. The bears are out there. Hunting us. He's a smart old bastard. He'll keep us from getting out. Getting supplies. Finding help. He'll either get us or starve us out. I gotta lay down. Help me back to the bed. Okay. Hey, achievement unlocked. Oh, yeah, he wants to talk to. Uh, dam. The dam was pretty busted up, like you said. The place was cracked open by the quake years ago and never recovered. It was already half dead at the time. How does the bear give you a black Maybe. eye? The dam dates back to the 60s. Industrialists from the mainland wanted to use it to power a mining town he was planning to build. But the bottom fell out of the price of coal. He had to abandon those plans. Some fool tried to get it running again in the 80s. Then the forest talkers got involved. That was the end of it. Pretty sure the Quakes finished the job once and for all. Hmm. Forest talkers, yeah, because we've already seen like a note about them. So, who are the forest talkers? Eco terrorists. Activists, some call them. Depends on who you talk to, I guess. Why are they out here? Well, they've been active for years. Uh, yeah, I can't relax with that it creaking. A variety of resource projects, mining, forestry mainly. They want Great Bear to remain a pristine wilderness. You don't sound like you agree. Oh, I have no love for industry. But this is the way of the world. You have something they want. Take it. Nothing much you can do to stop it. Judging by what I saw in the dam, I'd say the forest talkers are still active. Yes. Ah, I found a note about them. That's good news for you. Keep your eyes open for supply caches. They might yeah, I found one. It was really pathetic. It had a bunch of accelerant and that was it. Can you tell me anything that's why it took me so long to get are. back. Well, I cut out like 10 minutes. This whole area takes a lake nearby. It's kind of a wilderness preserve. Though you wouldn't know it from the logging trucks. 
much around there, apart from some lake cabins that'll be locked up for the season. I've already seen the dam. Railroad passes through the area. Trains come through once in a while. Fewer every year. The whole area is mostly dead. Most of the year. You sound like you like it that way. Yeah. I sure do. So, no other people living out here? You gotta understand. The collapse destroyed Great Bear. There's nothing here to stay for. are they're hiding from something or someone and you why are you here i have my reasons bear what's this unfinished business between you and the bear ah me and the old bear every time we meet we make a little trade and what do you trade other's blood mostly sounds like a losing proposition well, I'm sure it will be for one of us woman the main reason I'm out here is I'm looking for someone <laughs> you won't find too many people out here that's kind of the whole point this is someone important to me a woman she may have passed through here a few days ago. Might have been injured. What makes you think she came through here? She passed through the tunnel leaving Milton. And I'm not sure. Well, the roads from Milton don't lead this way. Wherever she's headed, you'll have to cross the mountains to find her. Not an easy path, even for the most experienced outdoorsman. I'll do whatever it takes. Well, you won't get far with that bear on the prowl. What we need is to get my radio up and running, so we can find out what the hell is going on. Maybe okay. someone out there has seen your friend. Okay. Perseverance Mills, yes. The woman I'm looking for. She might be on her way to a place called Perseverance Mills. You know it? Shit, nothing town, north part of the island. Sounds about right. Yeah, I know it. We were on our way there, my passenger and I. We crashed. I need to find a way to get there, or contact her. See if she's alright. Sure she's alive. Yeah, I'm sure. Well, normally I'd make some calls on the old shortwave. The whole area's been damn quiet since those lights in the sky. Even the wildlife's acting strange. Yep, the aurora. And physical electrical signals. Come on, I figured this out in the opening the cutscene. How are these people just so unknowledgeable of something that nature. exists on like a daily basis where they live? Right now, the patterns are broken. In that part of the world. I'm in the UK and I figured that out. In like two minutes. Not even that. Changed somehow. Best way I can say it is things don't feel right. Yeah, I know. You said you had an idea. Killed the bear. Well, it's a long shot. But I may know how we can find out about your friend. I'm listening. This shortwave. I use it to keep an ear open for what's going on. So how do we get the radio working? No reason I can see why it shouldn't be working. Well, what about more parts? Another radio? We might find another radio. But I think I have a better idea. The problem is, it's no use with the old bear out there. Your path to a working radio and our survival is through that bear. I'm more than happy to kill a bear. To deal with him first. I'm ready. Okay. So we have to deal with the bear. But you're half dead, and rifle shots don't seem to do much. So that's because the 
old bear. It's special. I've been hunting and trapping for years, and I've shot a lot of bears. But I've never encountered anything quite like him. A special bear like that. He needs special magic to bring him down. Magic. Magic? <laughs> don't worry. I'm not delirious. I don't mean literal magic. But we need the old knowledge. The old ways. What do you have in mind? There's an old story. Local legend, maybe. About one of the original settlers of this place. Spence. The story goes something like this. Spence shows up and sets up his claim shanty with his young family in tow. For generations, the family have been traders in the Hudson's Bay Company. Old voyageur stock, they say. Hard people. Survivors. One day, a bear shows up and menaces the homestead. Spence takes a shot at the bear, but it doesn't seem to do anything. The bear wanders off, but Spence's wife, she takes a turn, slips into fever. For days, delirious, she screams about the bear. Local doctor can't do a thing for her, neither can the priest. A week later, a hired hand goes missing. And they find him. Just a body. Ravaged. Spence fears for his wife and kids. He's convinced some evil bear spirit is trying to kill them. Revenge for some. Slight in the past, maybe. Something in the family history. Spence gets some men together for a hunting party. They go out into the muskeg and track something big for days. Eventually corner it. Ah, it's a big son of a bitch. Biggest bear they'd ever seen. Man killer. Story goes, they empty their rifles into the bear and it just walks away. Like it's made of stone. They call it the demon bear after that. Wife's dying now. Spence believes the bear's evil spirit is killing her, eating her soul. He can't get anyone to join him on another hunting party. They know rifles don't work. So he forges a spear, like a boar spear, but bigger. From some old Hudson's Bay trapper's wisdom, apparently. He goes out into the muskeg, disappears for days, and then one morning, the wife's fever breaks, but nothing from Spence. Some men go out looking for him, and they find him, half dead, blood all over him, body torn almost in two. The bears work. The last thing he says is, Spear stole the bear's soul. My wife is now free. And then he's gone. So, did he kill the bear? Nobody knows. Never found a carcass. They buried Spence, took the spear back, and hung it over the mantelpiece in the Spence homestead. Never saw that bear, or any other, again. Years later, after the Spence family faded to obscurity, wealthy land baron bought the spear to hang in his hunting lodge. Just so he could tell that story, I imagine. Good story. So believe it? The story of the demon bear and the spear stealing its soul? What? <laughs> no. Of course not. I, I might spend all my time alone in the wilderness, but I'm not crazy. But the old stories sometimes have truths hidden in them. Spence might have been superstitious. But he had the right idea. Ten inches of cold, hard steel might do what a bullet can't. I'm convinced. A spear's the way to kill that bear. And you need to get Spence's bear-killing spear if we're gonna survive the winter. The old hunting lodge is still there. A couple of days' journey south. Follow the tracks the other way, through the muskeg, and you'll find it. If the spear's there, get it. It might be our best hope. And the radio? You deal with the bear, and let me worry about the radio. <laughs> Deal. Does that mean you're not in any shape to fight it? Let me rest. Good luck out there. Watch out for our demon. Right.
Oh, we will do. I'm yawning. I'm tired. I need to go get something to eat and a rest. But yeah, this is the start of episode two then. Thanks for watching, everybody. And if you enjoyed, please click like and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.